Hi guys, Lindsay here with Storybook Family Farm. So if you haven't noticed by now, through all of our videos, we keep kind of like growing and evolving, and our farm actually keeps growing too. Um, so some of the newest growth, besides hatching out like 23 quail this week, um, we actually got two new goats. So I wanted to introduce you guys to the goats. So that goat right there, that is Daisy. And that goat right there is Rosie. We um, had intended on actually getting four new goats, but there was a bit of a tragedy that had happened with um, the other four, the other two little does that we were going to get. Um, we were planning on actually picking them up on Thursday, which is tomorrow. Um, but the day before yesterday, our goat lady, who we also got Winston and Lucky and Fawny and, you know, everybody else off of, she... Uh, contacted us and said, hey, there was there was an attack that had happened um, in the goats. And I was like, what? And turns out what had happened is one of her neighbor's really super awesome, nice, lovely dogs um, broke into the goat pen, um, dug out like underneath of it, got in there and attacked um, two of the goats. Thankfully, there was other people around. They were able to get the attack to stop before any like serious, serious damage was done. Um, but one of the goats its horn had to be removed by the vet because the dog damaged it so badly that it wouldn't stop bleeding. Um, so it was very traumatic for the little goat. And then she also had her face all like bit up. And then her sister had her face just really badly bit up. Um, so they are on a track to make a full recovery. But before we bring them home, um, our goat lady just basically wants to ensure that they are actually safe and healthy and that they're not going to like die two days after we get them because they became like septic or you know had an infection or something of the sort um so yeah that is why we only have two right now um we did tell some other people in our lives not like on facebook or anything like that that um we were planning on getting four new babies and they were very confused as to why there's only two um, so that is why there is only two new babies um so they came named already and we kind of like the names so they're just going to stay um, Daisy and Rosie. Um, so if you've never brought goats home, it is a very, very noisy adjustment period um, because they, Lucky wants to get his, his little bit of attention in. Um, when you first bring young goats home, they are scared. They don't know where their mom is at. So they will basically just continue to keep calling out like they're doing now. They keep walking around the little pasture and calling out searching for their mom, waiting for their mom to respond so then they can, you know, find their mom. Um, so it's very sad. Uh, it is helpful for us that we already have other goats and like Bonita is only about a month um, older than them, um, which is surprising because they're like the same exact size. So clearly their mom was a little bit bigger than Fawny. Um, Fawny was kind of the rep of the litter. So we kind of assumed that any of her kids would probably end up being smaller than everybody else. But anyways, so Bonita is helping them to adjust. Um, she keeps playing with them and stuff. Last night we actually brought in, because last night is when we got them, that's why I didn't film last night, because it was starting to get dark and we had to put other animals to bed and take care of everybody. But um, last night when we got him here, we actually pulled Ferdinand out of the pen with Wilbur. Um, he's castrated, so he can't do any harm or anything. Um, but so we got him out so he could play with the girls and get to know the girls a little bit too. Um, so they actually did, they, they took a shining to Ferdinand more than they did Bonita, I think because he's also black. Um, and their mom was like a blackish grayish color. And, um, the other two young goats they were playing with, um, the two that got attacked, they also are a dark color. Um, our goat lady, her buck is twins with our buck. So she had had both of them last year and said this is the one that's going to be a good buck for you guys so we're like okay that's who we'll take because we were super duper new and it turns out he's been fantastic um you know if you're on if you follow us on facebook as well um you would have seen on our father's day post it was a picture of uh ferdinand and wilbur pretty much cuddling up together and stuff just you know being all lovey but um yeah so our plans with the goats is we do intend on expanding this pasture i know that it's very hard to see on on camera how big the pasture is um, that we have for them right now. It's not super huge. It's enough to 
satisfy their needs, um, but it's not enough to satisfy their wants. So I am right now at the back of the pasture area. So it goes, you can use the uh, little yellow clips for the electric fence. We don't have electric turned on anymore. We actually took it out of here. It was to keep Lucky in, but since we've moved here, he has not tried to escape. Um, so it goes over that way some, and then there's the chicken area. So there's some internal expansion that we're gonna do. Um, basically take down the fence that separates the chicken area from the goats because the chickens just fly over it anyways. Um, so it's not really, not really doing much good. Um, but our property does extend out that way, uh, probably, probably like 75 feet to 100 feet, something of the sort like that. Probably more like 75. I'm terrible at guessing. Um, so our eventual plan is to cut up this wood here because it's already seasoned and it's ready to go for firewood for this year. And then it's really super windy. And then we're going to push the pasture back further just to give the girls some more room. Um, we raise the goats for milk, um, and currently we only have one doe, and that is Fawny that has any milk because, you know, Bonita is her daughter and clearly not old enough to give milk or be bred. So um, the plan for these girls is to, in probably like December-ish, we're going to breed them to Wilbur, and we're also going to breed Bonita to Wilbur. Uh, you know, a lot of people probably don't understand this, but... Within the animal kingdom, it is no big deal to breed um, father, daughter, and things of that nature. Um, most animals actually are inbred. Chickens, they will boink any rooster, um, and the roosters will boink any hen. They just, they don't care. Um, so, that's just, that's the way that it is. Whew. Being mauled by goats trying to run in here. They uh, were all excited that I was coming in. They thought that I was going to give them more treats or something. Lucky is a sucker for treats. He always he always wants more food. So he uh, will paw at that gate right there when he is trying to make demands. Um, now I got all, all four of the originals in here. Uh, but anyways, so our big plans are to, in this fall time, to actually build a separate chicken coop that is not inside of the barn. Because right over in here is the chicken coop area. Um, I had to build this partition wall and then also put up metal to keep Lucky from trying to go in there to eat all the chicken feed that he wanted. And I said his name, so now he's trying to get all sorts of lovins. Um, but so our eventual plan, as you can tell, goats are very noisy when they're looking for mama. Um, our eventual plan is to make it so that way this area over here is also for goats. Um, they're so cute. Uh, but so that's the, uh, our plan is to make the chicken area also be for goats. Uh, this whole barn, we actually want it to end up being for just goats. Um, it's not a very big space. Um, if you guys could, couldn't tell on the outside of this barn, it is not big. Um, so there's the one side, that's the goat area. And then I added that window there to add more light for the chicken area. And then right here is the wall that ends the barn. Um, that's just a little separate storage shed, which is where we're gonna put all of our hay this year um, for the goats and for the rabbits. But so it's it's not a very big space at all. Um, that's why I want to basically kick the chickens out um, come fall. I have so many projects going on at this new place that it's, it's kind of insane, um, especially with also doing three different farmer's markets and trying to grow our business and trying to grow the YouTube channel. It, it's just, it's wild. But anyways, so, that is our plan, is to turn this all eventually into goat area, so then we can have, you know, separate areas for the does with the babies and stuff, so that way they're not um, in with everybody else when they have babies. Um, oh, Lucky, Lucky, sit down. <sighs> it's ridiculous. But, so then the, all the birds will end up having their own space. Um, we'll probably actually put that, uh, like, on this side of the barn here. There at one point was a really janky shelter type thing. It was falling apart and there's a weird buried trash can right down there. Kind of creepy. I assume it's to hide stuff. But so we'll end up building a coop area over in here. Um, once I get my truck fixed, I can bring my, my wood pile here. Uh, then that'll, that'll help us a lot because we do want to continue to expand our bird flock. Um, just kind of 
kind of how we are. We don't have much impulse control when it comes to farm animals, evidently. Um, that's why we have quite a few goats and the majority of them are actually boys. Um, but it is what it is. We like what we like. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.